Hi, my name is Karen Tam. I'm a visual artist from Montreal and this exhibition with wings like clouds hung from the sky is an exhibition I'm presenting at the RAG that looks at Li Nam, an immigrant artist from China who was friends with Emily Carr in the 1930s. Hello, I'm called Tam Ga Min. I'm an artist in Mundi Hall. This exhibition is called Dai Peng. This exhibition comes out of research I had done a few years ago looking at the connection in relationship, friendship, I should say, between Li Nam, an immigrant Chinese artist uh, who was friends with Emily Carr, and they overlapped um, their time in Victoria in the 1930s. I came across Li Nam in high school. Uh, for a history project, I think we were given um, one of Emily Carr's uh, books to read, The Hundreds and Thousands. And at the time, I, you know, just reading through it and then realized, like, oh, she's mentioning a Chinese person. I never, I mean, I sort of in the back of my head knew that the Chinese community were in Canada for a long time. But, you know, in high school, you're just, you're just like, wow. There's an actual individual with a name, um, and that's the first time I'd ever come across him. And I hadn't thought about him until I think it was 2013 or 2014, when I was invited by Lisa Baldessera um, to present a work, uh, to develop a work um, looking at the legacy of Emily Carr. And that's when I sort of went back to this journal and kind of read it, read it some more and, and just kind of thought, how can I bring this artist whose work we don't have as of now, um, we don't have any um, uh, access to, do they even exist? Um, and I thought, what would, what would be one way of bringing sort of his presence out, making him more visible? Um, and for me, uh, at the time, and I think even for now, it's you know through uh, exhibitions that maybe again just uh, imagines what his his life might have been like. So um, with this research, uh, where I was uh, looking through archives and museum collections to find out more about this artist who we only know through the journals of Emily Carr, um, I was able to find. Few, few details of his life, but um, was able to track down a sketch that was attributed, possibly, to Li Nam or to Emily Carr. And from there, as well as the description that uh, Emily Carr gives on, um, on Li Nam's uh, studio and exhibition that he was trying to put on in Chinatown at the time, I decided to uh, reimagine um, what a Chinese artist's studio may, may have looked like in 1930s Victoria. Um, and from there, it kind of, this exhibition or this exhibition project um, sort of expanded to kind of looking at the connections between Chinese and Canadian art history and asking who's been left out. I was able to borrow um, historical works such as Emily Carr's and um, scroll paintings by Chinese masters for this exhibition from the Art Gallery of Greater Victoria where I had presented this project two years ago. And at the same time, I wanted to include more of a community aspect. So I invited some local um, practitioners of Chinese paintings to include their works within the exhibition. Um, and during the run of the exhibition, there'll be some programming where there'll be workshops given um, and demonstrations. When I was uh, kind of developing the, the studio installation, I was working or collaborating with a senior artist in Montreal, Lei Lok Chun, who is my mother's uh, painting teacher. And I was trying to, in a way, parallel his life experience with Lee Nam because they were both immigrant artists to, to Canada. And um, I had um, asked uh, Mr. Mr. Louis to uh, make several paintings based on his memory and experience of the Canadian landscape. So some of the paintings that you see behind me are, are his. 
I've made 12 portraits of individuals who have the name Lee Nam that I found through government record, immigration records. Individuals who are around the same age as him. So I painted those portraits um, and I have them hung throughout the exhibition. Um, another uh, example is the seal chops. So it was just variations of how his name in Chinese would have been written. And so I asked my mother and her painting teacher to help me carve the seal chops. And I have this other installation, it's participatory or interactive, and people can um, paint um, uh, chickens based on uh, the sketch that I had found attributed to Emily Carr and, and Lee Nam. So they can view um, a short video of Mr. Lui who's demonstrating how to paint those chickens and then they can add to this installation where I've got hanging sketches and um, they can finish off with the rubber stamps um, that I made of two of the Li Nam seal chops. My own decisions for what to include in the exhibitions or the, or the um, installations within the exhibition, if we take, uh, for example, the um, artist studio installation, it it's different each time, or it has been dif different each time, because I try to source the furniture and sort of larger and medium-sized um, props locally. So here in Richmond, I was fortunate that the Richmond Museum um, were, were generous in, in loaning um, quite a number of objects for me. Um, and then, of course, I. My, since my mom does Chinese painting, I raided her studio <laughs> um, to, to find things and bring, bring them in here. Uh, in terms of the painting, the historical paintings, uh, the Chinese uh, masters or the, the, their works, um, they're related to the Lingnan school um, of painting. Um, and. Uh, one of the founders actually came to, was sent by the Guomindong to Victoria in 19, late 19 teens, early 1920s. And I thought that because Li Nam was from that same region, that there may have been, and that they were here at the, in Victoria at the same time, that they might have um, met. Um, but also the type of painting that he was doing, birds and flowers that Emily Carr had mentioned, that that's why I included them. Um, also, um, I decided to include um, Qi Bai Shu, one of the greatest Chinese artists of the 20th century, just because I, you know, it, he's amazing. He's my mom's favorite painter. And I was thinking it was one way of bringing his work. Maybe not everyone has been able to see his work in person, so this was just one way of doing that. What I hope visitors to the exhibition will come away with is as maybe a bit better sense of um, like the amazing uh, art that's being made in Richmond and in the surrounding areas, but also to learn more about Li Nam, this um, maybe formerly unknown uh, historical painter. And if anyone has more information about him, um, I would love to hear, I would love to hear that.